Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 4th, 2019. So, hey everyone, I hope you had a great weekend. I hope your team won this weekend in the Super Bowl. Um, not a whole lot of market news this weekend, not a whole lot going on. Um, overall, I think everyone was just kind of focused on that um, Super Bowl and all the activities around that Super Bowl. Let's take a look at the market here, though, and see what we got going on. First, right off the bat this morning, we have futures trying to, well, they're, they're pretty much flat. They're a little bit bullish, but pretty much flat this morning as we wait for a bunch of earnings reports. Um, let's take a look at what we've got going on here. I marked um, 25,000 here on the chart. I actually I should change that. That should be directly at 250. There we go. 250. 250 is the 25,000 mark of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. You can see 250 with the Dow being 10% of, of the the Dow Jones Industrial Average, 250 is that line. So we broke above that 250 mark and um, held it for the end of the day on Friday, but left a little bit of a question mark here in that price pattern. Not tremendous, not a not a sell signal in any way, shape, or form, but I do think the market is a little bit stretched. So I'm kind of comfortable. I went into the weekend very light in my account, took a lot of profits last week. It was a, actually the last month was just a fantastic month. In fact, um, the best performance of the, of the Dow in 30, 32 years in January. So a tremendous run up in the market and I think we are a little bit stretched so I went into the weekend uh, basically sitting on the fence I, I do hold some long positions I also added some hedge positions to lower my long risk just in case the market does start experiencing some profit taking now I may be uh, just a little bit over cautious here right now and the reason is is because earnings could certainly um, propel this market higher we have Clorox coming out this morning that could be um, a market mover we have uh, the the big report with um, Alphabet this afternoon Google L um, and Google reporting this afternoon so we'll want to pay attention to that but so far I just think we're we're really priced up here near that point where a, a little rest a consolidation um, is very possible so I went into the weekend very cautious and and by and large I'm a very picky trader anyway uh, and so I think we're just priced at that point where a little rest is likely to come into the market I could be absolutely wrong on that, but I'm protecting the capital that I made through here. There's no need for me to have to be hard trading every day, pressing hard every day. When I made the kind of money that I made through here, I don't have to worry about it for a few days. I can wait and see. So let's pay attention to what's going on here. Now, this 25,000 area, you can see as long as we hold above that, we're in pretty good shape here. But if we start to slip back down below that, I suspect a price support level right in here could be tested fairly easily. It's it's not a, a for sure, but you can see it right here in the price action of the chart. If we take a quick peek, there's a price support right through there and any rest or pullback into here wouldn't be a big surprise to me and honestly it wouldn't harm the market at all either um, and in fact I think it would actually be a healthy move of the market now um, we could also just consolidate here any consolidation through this area right here would be very healthy for the market just a really nice rest after such a long run would certainly um, be a strong possibility if we do begin to move up watch these resistance levels up in the chart here watch those resistance levels um, for that uh, that area where that profit taking could come in let's take a look at the spy real quick spy looking really really good here breaking its downtrend holding its trend uh uptrend up looking very very good here but i do think we're a bit on this side of stretched 
here, even though there's no signal here that would suggest bearishness. And I don't want anybody to think that I am bearish. I am not bearish this market. In fact, I'm quite bullish this market. I just think we need a little pullback or rest. So I'm going to be a little bit cautious. So a little bit of consolidation, a little bit of pullback wouldn't hurt us at all. And if we pulled back into this area right here or stayed above that, we would still be in great shape to move on higher so let's keep an eye on that if we do happen to pop and, and break on out if those earnings continue to propel us higher there are a lot of good stocks that i can certainly be jumping into at any moment on my watch list i'll show you some of those here in uh, just a little bit but as you can see we have um, resistance levels above that we'll want to pay attention to as we move toward or into those resistance levels to the upside. So watch that if we do continue moving higher. Accuse. Q is very, very strong, uh, pushing up here nicely. You can see we have a little bit of a, well, on Friday, just a little bit of a caution signal here. Nothing major, um, just a little bit of a rest possible. And I think a pullback once again into this area right in here. Um, is certainly possible now if we continue to rise or continue to rally we're going to want to watch probably this high right in here for that resistance to come into play let's see if we get some kind of a resting uh, consolidation or a little pullback i think that would still be very strong for the market and a good possibility we could continue to go go higher as a matter of fact if we just draw this trend right here you can see any rest or pullback that would occur that even brings us back over to the trend would be uh, very bullish and very strong so watch that right there let's take a look at IWM IWM also really great looking chart and I think IWM may have some chances to be that leading index right now um, it's very, very common where um, the the small caps lead us to the downside, and that certainly was the case here on IWM leading us down. And it's also the index that often tends to recover and lead us back up because you know, we do have these concerns out here of, of global slowdown and things like that, China slowing down and all of those. Well, just keep in mind that IWM, most of their companies are domestic only, and, and I think the economy here in the U.S. is still pretty darn strong. Consumers are still spending, so we might want to watch IWM. It may give us that clue um, and even take over leadership of the market um, uh, to be really strong. But if it does pull back, a pullback into this little support area would be um, nothing wrong with that at all, and a little bit of rest wouldn't hurt us. As a matter of fact, I think if it pulled back even into here, um, it would be a little concerning, but I don't think it would break, uh, break this market down at all and could be a good place to be watching for entries. Let's take a look at the VIX real quick the VIX has just been calming down calming down and calming down no worries here in the market it's been nice to see that little bit of calmness come over the market however I do have a concern as you guys have, have seen me talk about several times this level right in here is a fairly significant price support level and a bounce off of here wouldn't be all that big of a surprise so if if the market does start to show just a little bit of of um fear creeping in i don't know that i would be worried about it particularly as long as it continues to hold you know downtrends hold this resistance level in here any any rally up wouldn't be that big of a deal but you know we could see um, if you're overly long the market we could you could see some pain in your account so be careful market's just a little bit quiet this morning it doesn't really know exactly what it wants to do so we'll kind of keep an eye on that let's take a look at t2122 whoops t2122 
22122, the four week new high, new low ratio. If you take a look at this, this has been my biggest concern for a while, where we have been kind of pegged up here near the top side of this bearish reversal zone for a long time. Doesn't mean we necessarily have to just collapse. And I, I'm not, honestly, I'm not expecting that. Um, a pullback would be a good thing. A little bit of rest would be a good thing. We don't necessarily have to collapse. Um, like we did when we reached these points here when the market was so volatile. But please keep in mind, if we take this back, even in 2017, through that big run of 2017, we never saw T2122 up this high. So I think there is good reason to be cautious um, and, and reason to be very watchful of the possibility that uh, profit takers could come in at any time. So be careful with not overextending yourself to the long side. And that's why I've kind of got a little bit of a mix with some conservative hedge trades to protect my long risk here. Let's take a peek here at the earnings, or excuse me, economic calendar. Economic calendar today, not a whole lot to really worry about motor vehicle sales this morning, but um, we have factory orders here at 10. That can move the market around a little bit, but really not much here that um, is likely going to move us throughout the day. Keep in mind, we do have a Fed speaker um, uh, this evening, um, unlikely to affect the market. So kind of a, uh, a, a light day on that economic calendar, not much going on there. So the market will likely be very, very focused on earnings. Earnings, we have about 80 companies reporting earnings today. Let's take a look at CLX. I think it's reported. Yeah, CLX, nice report this morning, giving us that little bit of a boost here. Um, produced very, very well this morning. Now we'll have to wait and see um, how these other companies um, uh, continue to roll out this morning. CLX can definitely be a market mover. It's probably the thing that's pushed us out of the the flat to just slightly bullish this morning um, in the market. So let's take a look at that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, would you please do me a favor? Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click those follow me buttons on Facebook and click click those um, that button to leave a comment. That helps me out a lot. I truly appreciate that. Anyone that takes the time to help support the channel by leaving just even the briefest of comments makes a difference for that algorithm to show these videos to more people. Thank you so much for everyone that does that. You humble me. I truly appreciate that. And um, let's see if I can um, earn, earn that by showing you a few charts that I think have some great potential here. So let's take a quick look. Um, if we take a look at MU, MU, really nice looking chart. Chart breaking out of its downtrend, beginning this nice uptrend. We started our uptrend right in here where we confirmed a higher low, and then we follow that up with that breakthrough of the downtrend. Really like this chart, and then this nice little consolidation where MU is perking up here on Friday. Now there is the possibility with this resistance up here. We could see this just kind of move sideways over to its trend still. But in, in that situation, this still is a very good chart to be watching, have on your list for a potential entry into a trade. Keep an eye on that guy. I really like that chart. Um, um, SQ, SQ is an interesting pattern here, kind of a inverted head and shoulders pattern that is formed here, holding this level right here of support. Now, as long as that can hold in here, move over toward this trend, I would be watchful of that chart for some buy signals. SQ has been a very, very strong stock over a long period of time, and it's like it's trying to come back here a little bit. I wouldn't expect this thing to just break through to new highs right away or anything like that but a nice little swing trade is certainly possible here in, in that position. You guys know that I've been mentioning Roku for a while. Roku just kind of climbing that little wall of worry here. Moving on up, Roku continues to look very good. Home Depot, nice looking chart. Um, right Way Options is in this Home Depot trade looking really, really good. 
everything is moving like we want it to do and a little bit of uh, rest or consolidation in here would not uh, break this uh, chart at all or cause me any really worry or concern if that does pull back just a little bit wouldn't be a big problem lea lea what a beautiful buy signal here on friday nice little bullish engulfing after this nice little pullback beautiful uptrend underway after breaking that downtrend everything's looking good here lea should be on your list wdc wdc mentioned this last week perking up here after breaking its downtrend nice little buying pattern in here pushing up on friday looking good now don't be surprised if if some of these need a little bit of a rest a little bit of consolidation before they continue up but that's a really nice looking chart i really like that pattern and i'd kind of keep an eye on it if you're looking for kind of a conservative trade you might want to look at coca-cola now coca-cola breaking this downtrend here just recently i think there is a good chance this needs a little bit of consolidation or or a little bit of pullback but coke can be one of those real fun traders um, that doesn't get a lot of volatility uh, and maybe one to watch but keep in mind it reports on 214 a lot of reports uh, out there to be aware of uh, vips vips is one i currently hold i like this nice trend consolidating over toward its trend right now looking very very good um, really nice looking chart one you might want to keep an eye on so there's a few trades for you to focus on lots of earnings this week be really careful guys uh, we could begin a pullback at any time so stay focused on that price don't really try to um, uh, um, have a bias necessarily just focus on that price action and follow that price action whatever um, it decides it wants to do we can certainly make money with it so with that everyone I want to wish you all a great day of profits Take care of yourself and, and please, once again, do me a favor, click that subscribe button. That helps me out a lot. And I want everyone to remember that even though you may be struggling, learning to trade and sticking with it is the most important. That, that, that desire to be, your, uh, to be a full-time trader, never give up on that. Because believe me when I tell you, for me, it's been very worth it. Um, Having done this for 14 years now, full time, I, I got to be honest, I feel very blessed to have kind of figured this stuff out. And if we can be of help um, with that, please feel free to let us know. Leave a comment, everyone. We'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great one.